Hello everybody and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. Um, so, it's been a while since our last PlayStation, play, not PlayStation, we don't have the PlayStation guys. Um, we're playing this on PC, believe it or not, but anyways, it's, um, our play session, it's been a while, but, um, we've still done some progress, and also, Caden's not gonna be here today, um, but, it's fine. So, between episodes, we did a few things, such as, I got rid of the liquids that were in there, um, there were a few liquids that were clogging up the system in there, like Enderium and stuff, such, and then also we plugged in ME interfaces to every single thing here, so it goes directly into our ME interface. We also started on making the 16 million, um, storage cell, which is a part in the, right here even more storage the quest yeah um but anyways we also made this reactor stuff and i'm going to show you guys how to create a reactor right here so what you do is you start by making a three by three base three by three not whatever that was okay there we go three by three base then you build up each corner of the wall by one then the power tap goes on one side the access port goes on one side and then the controller goes on one side and then there's another casing on one side. Then in the middle goes the yellowium fuel rod. Then it's eight reactor casings and then a reactor control rod and then it forms the multi-block structure here so this is how it works um, what you do is if you put in yellowium which I made a ton of but I didn't know it'd be this effective it's actually really effective for that much you put it in there and then it starts building up heat so as the beat builds, as the heat builds up the more power will be generated and yeah, and then as it uses up the power or the fuel, it creates depleted fuel, which creates a blue winget once it reaches 25% depleted. But anyways, yeah, it can store up to 10 million RF, which is a bit ridiculous, but it's a really good source of power. And yeah, so that's the reactor for you all. Um, now I'm... Not sure if I showed you guys this, but um, the glacial precipitator we made from before, I set it to ice and set the quest delivery system to the iceberg quest, the iceberg quest, which is just going ahead and putting in all the ice that we have into the iceberg quest here. So you see that it's filling up slowly, and yeah, it's just something we're doing over time. And also, I made a bunch of breakfast foods for the quest down Mikari's. I made all the breakfast foods, and now I'm going to eventually make all these sandwiches. Eventually. And then, I also made this right here to help us stay on test. So we finished the reactor, so I can check that off. So now, Andrew, our... Also, this is how many basic processors we needed for the um, 16 million storage cell. 2,916 basic processors, which is a bit ridiculous, but you know, we're working on it. So, Andrew, you're working on lasers, aren't you? Or, yes, you are. Yes, yeah, so if we go ahead and look up the recipe for these here, everybody, the laser drill is glowstone illuminators which involves having a illuminator frame which so what you do is you melt down the glowstone in the magma crucible and have output into the fluid transposer and then there is some in there and then you would put in the illuminator frame and it would fill it up to create the glowstone illuminator so yeah it's just like that simple process
made them. Still see. Did you make three glowstone illuminators or something? No. Oh. Got it. I think regular slime balls may work. We also need um, the electrum things. So I'm going to make that real quick. I made two of them. There we go. Um, I think a green slime ball should work. Or no. Oh god. I am not sure. Huh. I thought the or dictionary would allow that to happen. We'll be back once we figure out how to get pink slime balls. Okay guys, we're back and it seems that we needed a slaughterhouse to be able to get pink slimes. So we went ahead and crafted it up real quick. It just involves Invar swords, Invar axes, in, in Invar gear, machine frame, redstone reception coil, and two plastic sheets. So, you know, it's somewhat complicated, but not a ton. So, where do we want to hook this up? I did make one, it's right here. What are we going to slaughter? Let's first take a look at the interface here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. That's... Nope. Uh, <laughs> okay, I made a bunch of chicken eggs with our arrows. So we can hook this up to power and then just, like, go place down a bunch of chickens. And have them slaughtered. Do you want to do that? Okay, um, they're in the mob thing over there. Could you go get them? There's like three stacks. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, just grab one stack. We shouldn't need more than that. Is it? Oh. Okay, so place them down slowly. Oh, okay, or we can just box it and let me go get some cobblestone. Okay. Okay, or you can... <laughs> Yep. Wait, let's see if it takes damage. Yeah, there. It murdered it. It's just murdering them. It's murdering them. Got it? Okay, we also are getting meat. That's pleasant. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> meat. We need more chickens, Andrew. Send them in. <laughs> Your sacrifice will not be in vain, chickens. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is that a no? I don't think that's really a sacrificial song. I don't know sacrificial songs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't use all of them because I was gonna use some of them for blood sacrifices and blood magic eventually. Yeah, but except, like, I need a ton of blood. Uh, I'm not sure. Here, let me go get... Do you have the portable tank? Just place that down, like, next to it or something. 
Oh wait, no, it needs to be piped into the top of the portal block. Fuck it, doesn't it? Uh, meat. Um. Make another portable tank. We, we're, we're never sure when we might need meat. You know? Pure meat. <laughs> doesn't murder me. Curious now. I'm ready. I'm ready. Kill me now. Help. No. Please. Okay. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, let's make more. Oh no. Are we low that all that low already? Oh my god. This is a problem. Okay, well, we will be back when we find a better way or if we have more chickens. We'll see you then. Okay, guys, and we're back. Um, we decided to hook this up to the mob spawner. So right here, you see we have our slaughterhouse. And then we have our... Oh, look. Look at Andrew. I'm going to bucket it. What? I got it. I got a pink slime bucket. Yeah. So now we have a pink slime bucket, everyone. And now we're just getting meat. And more pink slime over there. So, you know. Yeah. I'll fix that problem later. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and over here. Create this thing. And then... There. There. Seven. There for good measure. And then hopefully if we put that there. I think it's supposed to spawn. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that sort of upset my feelings just a little bit there. My god. Uh, okay, time to watch. And we'll be back when we get enough for another one. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll see. See you guys then. And we're back again, guys. One more bucket of pink slime. Okay. Uh, Duke. Yes, we got one. Also, we needed a place to store liquid meat, so now we have this liquid meat pool. <laughs> no, no, you can swim in liquid meat all day. You know, just in case you want to swim in liquid meat. No, it doesn't. Doesn't. doesn't right now. Yeah. Um. Okay. So now, what? What's the thing that we need with the it's the laser precharger? Okay. Here we go. Do 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 do. Yeah, we got the laser precharger. So now, hopefully, if we go to for the yeah, we did it. We finished automated mining. I didn't choose the right one. Cause you know, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey man. Ooh, an epic reward bag, nice. Four efficiency rooms, not bad, not bad. Okay, you know what I can do now? Can check another thing off the list. Lasers, or, yeah, there. Man, um. What do these laser focuses do? Okay, I have the laser pre-charger, which is the thing that needs to be hooked up to power. Right above. There. I think it needs to be facing the other way. Don't worry. Ah, no, excuse me. Um... No, I wanna... It's just going in a circle. It isn't going up or down. Okay, let's put it down a level. Let's move the 
this torch. See, right there. I'm not gonna put it there. Okay, not there. Why? Because we'll have to have the other thing in midair then. Put it where? Okay. Right, right here is what you're saying. Oh man, look at this. I'm gonna put red focuses in. A whole lot of red focus. Let's put some brown focuses in. Actually, let's just make red. Red is redstone, isn't it? Let's put all red. <laughs> We're gonna get all the redstone. Okay, we need to put a chest on that, don't we? I, I, there's an iron chest in here somewhere. One second, let me give it a. Iron chest. No, I was gonna. I think it will work. Um, break that chest. I'm gonna put an iron chest on. Okay, so now. Um, lever. Oh, I got one. Um, ba bam, maybe? No. It just destroyed my lever. Ow, oh, I'm on fire. Mistake. 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 Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Run. Run. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. So, omelette. See some of these. Any idea? Doing. Okay, everybody. Well, we will be back once we figure out what to do here and once Andrew finishes doing whatever he's doing. We'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. Wait. Yeah, we're back. We are back. Yeah. Anyways, it's working now. Yay. So what you have to do is you have to clear out a block to, so it goes to the void to make it work. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. And then we can make more pre-chargers if we want it to go faster, but... Okay, let's go see. Got a bucket. Nope, not yet. Okay, guys, we'll be back um, once we get more pink slime again. Okay, guys, and we are back, and I think this is a pretty successful rep episode, not a episode. In fact, um, let's see here. Before we go, let's go ahead and check what the next part in that small little part of the quest line is. Raw ores. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's what we need. Ooh, we get an ender quarry, though. That is good. Um, we could ender quarry the nether. Get a lot of netherrack. <laughs> a whole lot of netherrack. Um, well, half the stuff we can go to the nether and mine ourselves. So, you know, not terrible. But, next episode, we're either going to start on, well, that stuff's mostly resource gathering. So, next episode, we will either start on beekeeping or you're a wizard, Steve. Which both sound exciting. Um, I like your wizard, Steve, so I think I might do that one. And maybe Andrew may do something else so we get more progress done. You never know. But until then... Stay majestic, everyone.